Here with head coach Fred McNair. Coach, second scrimmage, getting ready for game week now. You, you went up-tempo, you went how game speed is going to go. Just talk about how it went today. You know, the biggest thing is get these guys acclimated to what's going to happen during the course of the game with all the substitution and stuff like that. Special teams, of course. Uh, we just got to learn how to open my ears up on the sideline when our substitution start coming in. So I thank these guys what they did today. I was kind of excited about uh, where we at coming into this uh, mock practice. I get them used to game type situation, you know, uh, substituting in on punts and um, offensive defense, PBR, uh, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm excited about what they did today in terms of the substitution. Coach, just talk about how it was with the speed and everything. How do you think the coaches are acclimating to that for the first real run through today and, and how you fought the failures with going to it as well? You know, it's always kind of tough to prepare your coaches for this kind of situation other than game day speed, you know. Uh, you have to be able to, 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 to react to, the, to what's going on on the field with the officials and all and, and just making sure that we're making the right calls and, and the tempo of the game, getting the guys in, in formation and transition uh, to what we need to do in terms of offensive defense. So I thought they did a pretty good job today. We had to call a couple times out during the course of practice. So uh, that going to happen in a game type situation. Uh, you don't get us a situation where you need need that timeout. So uh, in a good situation like that, we don't mind burning. Coach, talk about now getting ready for game week. What, what's the preparation after tonight and, and getting into that full flow of 11, 12, hopefully 13 weeks of this upcoming. You know, the biggest thing is, you know, some of the guys, the older guy that's been here, they know what it's about getting rid of a week one uh, when it's time to play. You know, we just got to make sure that we doing right by the kids, make sure they they getting all their, their stuff together in terms of what they need to, in preparation for the game, you know. Um, a lot of them have a lot of tradition here, you know, so the biggest thing is make sure the younger guys that's coming in get acclimated to what we're doing in the game week. So uh, it'll be fun for us, uh, you know, from, from day to day. Coach, just in general, swag football has gotten so much attention during the offseason. Just talk about how good it's going to feel to actually kick off tonight with Alabama State and, and, and FAMU being up at Carolina. Just how good it's going to feel to be able to have the swag showcase tonight. Uh, it's, it's big. Anytime you have a swag showcase with your MEAC swag challenge, it's always great. We played in the last year, great attendance. Uh, it's going to be big with Alabama State and Howard, you know, playing, playing tonight. You know, it's going to be exciting football. Everybody get back into football. I'll be tuning in myself, so uh, get a chance to watch those guys play and, uh, and get ready for next week. Coach, we've been doing it all year. We're going to do it right now. Coach, get ready for game week. One word to describe all four in football ready for game week. Wow, that's a big one. Uh, intensity. 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 That's going to be a big word for us all week, uh, how we handle that, you know, how we go through it, how we go through practice with intensity. Coach, I'm going to let you close it out all year with the same thing. Together we rise. Just go ahead and close it out. And that's from the Brady Nation on out, you know, how we, how we handle ourselves, uh, the fan base and the alumni and, and everybody, you know. I always say Braves, together we rise. Thank you, Coach.